Hello and welcome everyone. This is Atharic777 today back with another little video for you. And today I would like to show to you the finished project of the S1000 that I showed to you during the last videos. And uh, this machine has now two different FPV systems, so it's ready to go. And today we did the maiden flight of this. And um, I think it worked out quite interesting and so I'd like to show this to you. So uh, here we have the DJI S1000 with an A2 flight controller. Uh, I use a Security Cam 2000, as you can see it up in the right corner, with an IOSD Mini from DJI to have uh, altitude and all that. Um, the video was recorded with an FPV Pocket DVR, so up on the right you see exactly what I saw on the display. Uh, then we have the Set 15 3D uh, gimbal with a Sony Nex 7, and we use Immersion RC, Immersion RC transmitters um, and a Turning G T9X to control the gimbal and a Futawa T8FG to fly the machine. And here you can see how this looks like. This is the airfield where I normally go to fly. And uh, this way of flying is very, very interesting. Uh, it will need a while until we get used to it, but um, it's so fantastic to fly in this way. So down there you can see us. We are standing there watching both our screens. Here we are. So there you see how it looks like. Two uh, separated monitors, two separated FPV systems. And um, what is also nice is we have also the controls on the second display that I can show here today because uh, I used the controller to record uh, my picture. But um, you have on the turning G uh, the possibility to start recording, stop recording, uh, do a reset and all that. And uh, it's really very nice. So here I have the first time flying in one direction where I have uh, always some problems with the video signal, whatever I do. And there you see a typical reset of the gimbal. You can activate this by the camera and the camera will turn act, uh, automatically in the uh, direction, in the front direction as I see it there on my flying uh, monitor. So here is something interesting where I tried to do go forward in full speed and you see that uh, Copter was totally freaking out. You see it up on the right side so I stopped it again while uh, the gimbal was unlikely impressed of this uh, going fast forward. So um, that are not the perfect settings, still have to find them, but all in all uh, it looked already nice. And here you see uh, the possibilities of a system like this. I think that's amazing uh, because this offers a complete, complete new way of flying. Um, here you can see it, the values are still not perfect, we still have to work out the values on the second remote control. But while I fly there around and can watch straight forward, the cameraman can just do what he wants. And you can also see a very beautiful day that we had today. Just some clouds, but a really blue sky looking very nice. And um, what I did is I changed the lens of the security cam. As you can see it, uh, I have a very large view because that is nice. Um, in this way you don't have problems with obstacles or something in your way because you can see uh, a very, very long um, distance. And here you see it's very difficult to use the, uh, the 3D gimbal in the right way. Um, so it's a challenge. It's not that the cameraman will be bored or something, but uh, you know, it's a challenge for him for itself. And I think what we will need to learn now is uh, to get used to to know exactly where we want to go, uh, what is the object to film, and then it will become more interesting. So up there, you see some of the disturbings in the FPV picture while I turned the copter around. But uh, besides of that, we had no glitches at all. Using two FPV systems at the same time, both from Immersion RC and both with the right hand, uh, with right hand antennas. But uh, as soon as I can, I will change one of these systems uh, to a left hand antenna, and then this should become even better. But uh, what we do here is an airfield that is long like 600 meters. I think here we did more or less 300 meters, 200 meters in one direction. 
and had no problems and I guess the most of the time we will not fly more far than this. Here you see another try flying over and uh, I think he managed to do this already better. We are going to try another one where he is already going slowly into the, the right movement. Um, I used the Mini OSD or the iOSD Mini uh, because I like the price. You know, it's uh, 60 euros. Uh, it's not too expensive and all I need is mainly uh, to see in what mode I am. Of course, a copter, a huge copter like this, you fly in GPS mode the most of time, uh, unless it's very windy and you need to bring it down. Um, but mainly to see if the altitude is okay and also for the battery. And there you can see it, uh, that's, that's important. The security cam for now is uh, connected on a little servo. What I like a lot when I fly, because in this way I can see how the copter goes forward and backward, but I still can feel the wind. And uh, that's important for me. And there you see it. Uh, it's blinking yellow. We still have a bit of power, but better to bring it down. And uh, yeah, I think this will add a lot of possibilities. First maiden flight, two FPV systems. I'm totally happy. And uh, I hope you leave me some nice comments and tell me what you think. Come back soon and uh, thank you very much. Bye bye.